everybody, your host AMF 1534 here, Wilkin Bank, to let's play some more Drive the Car and Win the Cash. So what we're doing is uh, we're doing the uh, Honda, yeah, the Honda NSX, because Acura is the like luxury brand of Honda. So we're going to do one of these and knock this little, this little bad boy out of the picture. Ugh, my nose is all plugged up. That's what happens when I, when I sleep all bad. And then I get all that snot up in my nasals. And it's like... <laughs> so, how are you guys all doing this morning? I've got like a little over an hour and a half left before I gotta be at work. And so I figured, you know what? I'm gonna make a video. Just because I know that you guys have been probably a little perturbed at my, my uploading schedule as of late. And you know, I'm... I do apologize for that, but I actually woke up a lot earlier than I had planned on today, just because my uh, my phone alarm didn't decide that it wanted to wake me up, but the guy whose car alarm decided to go off for like a solid 10 straight minutes, that decided that was going to do it. So <laughs> this is a little bit earlier than, than what I was thinking, but it gives me extra time to take a long shower, a long time of standing in front of a nice hefty stream of water as it cleans my genitals and my buttocks and the rest of my body actually <laughs> not just those two things it doesn't like just like pick and choose what parts of my body to clean it just it does the whole package and then I get to put weird little sudsy things of soap into my hair and on the rest of my body and then it's all good because then I'll smell awesome not like the under part of a shoe because I don't know Maybe. Ah, no! Damn it! Stupid NSX. Dude, these cars are just not doing it for me today. They're just flying around all over the place. And this is a very short race, too, so we need to. We need to get our shite together. Oh, I need to not drive so recklessly. I was, I was playing Midnight Club last night, and that definitely didn't make my case any better for driving, you know, technically sound. That's probably one of the least, you know, driver, like, actually, like, driving properly friendly games. That's just, oh, you want to you wanna get first place? Drive through heavy traffic and hit all the cars and do all the stuff that normally nobody would ever do to, uh, to win. So here, I gotta, like, kind of throw that out the window for a moment and, you know, try to make this work. I gotta make this relationship work, man, just, just for the kids, you know? It's just these these la these last turns in here, they they get all like wonky and everything. You just you gotta try to stay out of the grass because that's where it all gets bad. We can't have that going on. Oh no no no! Uh, shoot! Another reason why I decided to do a video to uh, like right now instead of later is that I'm not even going to be home later, and so. It actually made perfect sense that I make one of these now because I am going to be uh, out with uh, with my brother and my roommate after work because my house is going to be off limits because my mom is having a party over here. And so that's going to make my house inaccessible for a couple of hours. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, yeah. I have cut you off. And because of that, I am the victor. It's really weird, like, out here in the skyline, I, I just saw it, where they had, there was like a weird, like, like a line break in the texture out there, and it totally looked like there was like a, like a shooting star, or maybe like a meteor falling out of the sky, and it was really creepy looking. But hey, that's what happens. Oh, God, I'm so tired. It may have not have been a very good idea for me to, uh, to, uh, oh, damn it. May not have been a very good idea for me to go and have Taco Bell at like 2 in the morning before I went to bed. That was weird. I, I woke up this morning and I was, uh, you know, tooling around on Facebook. Uh, ew, gross. I was uh, tooling around on Facebook before I decided to, uh, okay, so we did all of these. You yeah, know, we did that one. We did that one. So, it's just the S2000 challenge now. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go sell some things real quick, so that we can knock out the rest of the the Honda challenge. 
Okay, let's get rid of this bad boy for 23 G's. So I was I was moving I was looking on Facebook and then I came across another Miley Cyrus picture. I know nobody really wants to hear about this shit because she's been everywhere lately. But uh, it said somewhere about like it was like a one of the it was like a meme and it was of one of her interviews. And she was saying something about how, like, she broke some type of YouTube record, and I, I'm trying to think, like, what could it possibly be? Like, it can't be total video, or, like, total views, because I'm pretty sure Gangnam Style still has that by, like, an absolute landslide. That's gotta have almost 2 billion views by now. 2 billion views! That's so weird! But, um, so, like, what, what is this whole, like... What is this record that she broke? I don't even know what it is. And, like, you shouldn't, like, there's nothing to really be, like, that excited about. She's like, oh, cool, you you broke some type of YouTube record, but everybody in the world still views you as a whore, so is it really worth it? That's that's the better question here. Is it, oh, cool, I, I'm just like a dirty slut, yet I have, yet people watch my videos on YouTube, so it makes it all worth it, I guess. I don't know. She's just, she's so gross, man. Like, what? Like, what happened to her? Like, she used to be at least decent looking. Now she looks like a fucking wildebeest on on crack. It's gross. I wouldn't want any part of that. Like back when she at least you know looked normal. I you know even though she was not 18 yet, I would have like been totally all over that. Like she at least was cute, and now all of a sudden she just she looks like this gross like I don't know porcelain whorish doll it's just all sorts of disgusting so I don't know she can have it you know if you want to if you want to have some type of YouTube based record thinking that that makes your whorish attitude seem legit then you know more power to you but for the rest of us we don't really think so so go right ahead I bet your dad feels great about your your achievements in life you went from being you know essentially like a child idol to being just a shell of yourself and being this weird, you know, prostomatitis model of the world. But that's that's kind of like our generation now. It's just, oh, I don't really care. I just want to do whatever I want to do because we're the, the world's going to end someday and if I didn't do whatever I wanted to do, then I just didn't do that. And... That would be that would mean that I didn't do what I wanted to do, so just fuck you guys, and I'm just gonna do whatever I want to do. That's like that's just like the that's like the that's like the sentence of of like our generation now is I just want to do what I want to do. That's like that's like the that's like the new the, the motto for kids now is oh I just I just want to do whatever you know I just want to live my life. I don't want to have to really work for anything. I just I just want to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> I just think it's so stupid. Like imagine, like imagine people back in like the like the World War II days for people that had to like, you know, go out and like support an entire family at like you know 14 or 15 because you know everybody else was gone in the war and they had to like actually work for money and they had to like like there wasn't YouTube to make you money and there there wasn't really anything to make you money besides oh I don't know jobs and now there's like all these things to make people money and. And there's and there's like the whole welfare thing. It's like people are people can just get welfare without even having to really need it. Like the reason welfare was put in was so that you know it was only needed for like emergency situations, not just like oh, well I'm bored and I don't want to have to work for money, so I'm just gonna like apply for welfare and just get more money than people that are working on minimum wage, <laughs> even and not have to do anything. That's that's what pisses me off. It's like I sit here and I bust my ass every day just about and there's still people that aren't even working that are on the welfare system that make more money than I do it's like well what kind of bull hell is this what type of you know bull shark up on Mars is this even all about like just get rid of the damn program make people go get a fucking job or something I know that jobs aren't easy to get but don't have that as this stupid like you know fail safe thing to save people's asses that are too lazy to go flip a burger or something. Just get out there and do it! Oh, hey, my nose is clearing up. This is awesome. Alright, I'm going to catch you, you dirty little horny you. Yes. Yes, indeed. Don't think you were going to stay in front of me for too long. 
for I was going to come up there and I was going to slide right on in there inside, take the inside route and take that spot away from you. And by slide inside, I mean slide right inside of your vagina, not, not into first place. But then again, if you're sliding inside of someone's vagina, you might as well be in first place. Damn it! Why does this always happen? Why do I always spin out of control somewhere? I just can't, I can't just drive anymore. <laughs> it just, there's always something wrong with something. Here we go. I really do like S2000s though, those is like, I remember back when I used to play this when I was younger, like, the, doing the S2000 based races were always like one of my favorite ones, just because I like the way they sound, and I just, I like the body style in general, they just, they look really cool, it looks like a man's version of, of a, like a Mazda Miata, but it's the type that if somebody saw you driving it, they wouldn't totally think you were, you know, taking it right square in the ass. They'd be like, oh yeah, dude, that guy's driving an S2000, not, oh, dude, that guy's driving an S2000, what the hell? That's, that's like, that's what people think when you're driving a Miata, like, nobody thinks that you're cool driving a Miata. Let's just be honest, Every, everybody's gonna have that, that weird question in the back of their head if they see you driving one of those. You're driving an S2000, people are thinking that you're totally knee-deep in the trim at that point. That you're just gonna be, you know, slamming the muff like no one's biz. Like, oh yeah, you're driving an S2000, you must be getting all the bitches up in your ride, and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's totally what I'm doing. Okay, all we gotta do, here's here's the magic statement, all we gotta do is get through this last turn, and not totally blow it, and we'll be in good shape. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do this race again, and it's gonna be stupid. Oh, don't you dare. Come on, just gotta get around that turn. Thank you! You totally made my day! <laughs> Go ahead. Make me get first place. I mean, had that guy not hit me, there's a very realistic possibility that we may not have won this because he may have just gone straight around us. I don't know. I'm not a mind reader, even though I do that a lot. And I have to fart. Ah, yay. Dude, that Taco Bell is catching up with me right now. This is... Oh, dear God. Oh, that was not good. Oh, boy. Woo! That is... Holy Burt Baccarat's colon. Oh, dear gravy. That is not good at all. Then again, that's what happens when you eat... When you eat food right before you go to sleep, it doesn't digest very well. Just throwing that out there. Oh, my God, dude. It smells like the... It smells like an old bike seat. Oh, my God. Okay, so what we're going to do, <laughs> what we're going to do now before I just keel over and die here is we are going to uh, throw the old weight reduction things in here, which I don't know why we have to have weight reduction stuff just to throw some new paint on, but hey, what do I know? What do I know? I, I don't know anything about anything. So I'm going to be out of time, though. We're not going to have time to actually do the race. So I just want to get this out of the way now so that when we come back next time on uh, let's play some more Gran Turismo Dos we're gonna be able to just jump right into it without having to go through this stuff because I need to go jump in the shower right now I've, I've only got about ooh damn that's sexy looking we got a gray one ooh -hoo -hoo! that all black one is awesome okay dude yeah dude that all black one is so awesome it's giving me like a little mini car boner okay here we go so, also, we should probably go in and do one more of these, even though they're expensive, but gotta do it. Gotta do it. So yeah, I gotta go jump in the shower, I gotta get ready. Uh, I was also thinking about filming, um, filming the uh, Gauntlet 7 Sorrows video also, and then just editing it, editing it at work. I think I might do that just so I can have that up for you guys, because if I, if I don't do it to, like now, then I won't even get it done today at all. Because I won't get home until probably like 10 or 11, and then I'll film, and then it won't even get up on the internet until like 2 in the morning. So, to uh, spare us all of that, I uh, will probably do that. So, this is your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching this morning edition. This morning dish of Gran Turismo 2, and I will see you guys next time. So, take care, everybody. By the way, we're almost at 100 episodes of this. This is crazy. We're almost there. So, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.